A big step in the heated battle over air conditioning in Baltimore County Schools. The state committee is allowing air conditioning bids to go out tonight, which would put AC units in more schools by this time next year. WJZ investigator Mike Algren is live at one of those schools, Southwest Academy. He has reaction from all sides tonight. Mike? Vic, this is good news for the students here and parents who've been pushing for air conditioning. The governor, though, does not believe it goes far enough. Relief from the heat is being fast-tracked for a dozen Baltimore County schools without air conditioning. That can't come soon enough for fed-up parents. My daughter, she gets so many times she gets sick and she has to do her work in the office. It's better than nothing, but it's certainly not what we proposed and not what we would like to see. After their kids already missed four school days this year, many parents have been steaming. These schools are like greenhouses now, and so we cannot have children sitting in a hot car scenario. They put pressure on the county executive who wrote a letter asking for a waiver from the state to allow bidding to start for air conditioning installation right now, months before the state spending board gives its final approval. In a rare move, a committee granted that request. Once they do give us the money, we don't have to wait. We can hit the ground running and get the job done even sooner. It means 12 schools will have AC sooner, including Kenwood and Franklin High, Five middle schools are Butis, Middle River, Stemmers Run, Golden Ring, and Southwest Academy. And five elementaries, Reisterstown, Charlesmont, Orems, Church Lane, and Battle Grove, will get AC by next year. It's making a decision on what's best for our children. And, um, you know, if we can expedite this process for air conditioning to be finished in the Baltimore County area, then I think we should do that. Some say the bigger issue is not here in the county, but in Baltimore City. This is the lengthy list of the 76 city school buildings without AC. It should be down to 66 by the end of this school year. We dole out hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in school construction money to the local governments. and. Uh, they seem to be very unresponsive to concerns about the welfare of uh, some of their students. County Executive Cam Kamenitz notes that he inherited this problem. He says he's working hard to fix it, but has rejected calls to put portable air conditioning units in, saying that would be a waste of money. Vic? Mike, thank you. Installing air conditioning in each school will cost between 6 and $10 million.